<laughs> you have to get it in Lansky. All right, good afternoon, early afternoon. It is Tuesday, December 5th, 2017. I am in beautiful St. Kilda, um, where I live now. I moved here last Friday, kind of settled in, got my like paperwork, phone, bank stuff done, and now I am walking out and about. I'm about to go print off my resumes and cover letters and then apply to some places looking for a job. I'm here on a work and holiday visa, so I need to find that work. It's been a while since I've like applied for for jobs and like going door to door like this is really it's very nerve-wracking. It's like worse than cold calling because you actually like, make yourself seen and known. But I gotta get it done. I had, you know, I had my little fun, my fun little tour of Melbourne this weekend and now I need to like earn my keep here. So I that's what I'm doing. I spent the morning like scoping out places. Yeah, I'm just gonna apply, go out, uh, print off these resumes, hand them out to people, and see how it goes. So stay tuned and come along with me. We're we're gonna go find a job today. Oh my gosh, do you hear that bird? <laughs> All right, so pretty good day going around Melbourne today, or at least like St. Kilda area. Made a giant um, circle or square, and I think I printed off, I printed off 25 of my resumes and cover letters, and I think I went to 10 places today, seven to 10 places, and I was only able to drop off three of my resumes, either because the address was like a person's house or a coffee shop, or you know it was by appointment only, or it was open but the doors were locked and I couldn't get in. So frustrating and it makes me very nervous. Um, I'm gonna make another round tomorrow, but to in a different circle and I think I might end up having to like call people or cold call or like hunt for their email um, to get a hold of people and um, I guess the three paces that I was able to leave a resume at the first you know they're just like yeah 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 like leave it here or whatever whatever and like the last one she um, was like oh so how long are you here for and I said six months which even if I was here for a full for like a year or even two years I can only work for a single employer for six months at a time that's one of the limits of the visa and it was just like it just very like she's very like discouraged she was like mm, you probably don't really have a good chance of working here because you know like by the time we train you you know you you know it wouldn't be worth training me 
that's a good point and also like because i don't have my certs my australian certs like that's another thing they have to wait for because before they can actually put me like on a on a staff or perhaps where they need me the most so that's uh, discouraging but i am trying to stay positive and even as i was walking like every like the more the further along i went the more i was like oh my gosh this was probably a terrible idea um I just gotta stay positive about it i met gab on my way back and then we hung out went out for dinner um God, I'm spending so much money i don't have a job i can't keep spending money gab i don't have a job yet because i'm here and i'm so thankful to be here like everything that's going on like whatever happens like I'm so thankful that I'm here and I'm with my boyfriend and that's why I came here anyway so I have I'm still on this this great exciting adventure for my own <sighs> that is my goal my goal is to be get a job and adjust and become my good old positive regular organized self and move forward with all of my goals and dreams and everything so thank you for watching this short hopefully short vlog about today and I will update you on the rest of my job hunting, life adjusting journey.